Hey, welcome back, ball fans. Um, there's a lot to get into straight off the bat, as everyone might be expected. Uh, the portal is dominating the news. Mm -hmm. uh, we still have uh, upcoming early signing period for the high school guys. And we said it was going to get wild and woolly, and well, it was getting wild and woolly, Bob. Yeah, a lot of movement, uh, a lot of movement uh, in the next few days. Anything, what we will tell you today will be as of this recording. So uh, watch for any more news coming out because it can change very quickly. Oh, it definitely will. I know so far, though, I mean, I think the, the overarching uh, theme, 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 yes, of our portal season so far has been the mass exodus of the defensive back. Yes, that, that has been a big thing, Aaron. That's what we're going to really focus on a lot. I also want to talk a little bit about the tight end position, which is a very important position since we only have basically one guy. You know, even though we think he's maybe a superstar, Ethan Davis, yeah. but uh, he does have a, you know, we've, we've discussed before some injury situations, and you need one more than one tight end, you know. We do. I mean, we have a Emmanuel Coyier on, on the roster, but a uh, young man from Africa is, you know, a long way from helping problem. Yeah, I, I'd be shocked if he does much next year. He, he's as athletic as any player on the team. It's but, probably as raw well, as any yeah. fight we've ever had on the campus. Yes. Uh, still learning the game, football, much less the position. So, but let's get into uh, who we lost and who are you looking at and yeah. so on. Yeah, primarily let's start with the DBs. Yeah. Uh, we've got Burrell, who he's already landed at Georgia Tech. Right. Uh, Brandon Turnage is in the portal. Jack Luttrell's into the portal. Uh, Danico Slaughter. Mm -hmm. uh, the Rucker right. made it, uh, and Tamari McDonald. Yeah, uh, those guys are in the portal. Uh, right. We still don't know about Wesley Walker. Thought he is probably leading to be in the portal, but nothing for sure. And Gabe Judy Lally, who has even less information on about him. Uh, if I had to guess, I'd say leaning also, but it's, it'd be 5149 for me. I don't know if you've off. Yeah, uh, you know, as far as like. Burrell, Turnage, Luttrell, uh, Rucker, those guys, I'm not going to say it's huge losses. I mean, those guys probably wasn't going to play a whole lot. They didn't play a whole lot this year. Mm -hmm. And they played them next year. It was probably because we felt like our freshmen hadn't progressed. But, uh, but those are not huge losses, in my opinion. Now, Slaughter, I would definitely would like to have him back. Uh, McDonald, two-year starter. Uh, I think yeah. both those two guys reportedly are after NIL fighting. Yeah, and they're just, honestly, to this point in their careers, haven't had good enough to career to justify a, a big commitment to them. Exactly. I mean, Slaughter State hurt all year last year. And McDonald, uh, there's some rumors out there that he may have some, you know, potentially serious shoulder problems. Mm -hmm. uh, so I could definitely see why he'd be wanting money, you know, but definitely not deserve it, probably. Uh, as far as uh, Walker and Gabe Julie Lolly, that, those two guys I would like to have back. Uh, but uh, really, we need to move on to the youth movement of, and a great, a good portion of our uh, secondary anyway. But anyway. Well, you know what? Let me just say one thing on that. I wouldn't be shocked to see one of these guys back and or one of the other two not go to the portal. Um, I think we had a uh, situation where uh, – and the coaches after the season just informed these young men that they would not be NIL money out there for them because they had other needs, mm -hmm. as which we've gotten. I mean, we've seen the offensive line pretty much come back. We've seen defensive line outside of uh, Tyler Byrne pretty much come back. Yeah. And uh, it took a lot of dollars. And it's not a uh, unlimited pool. You know, you've got to allocate what you think you need. And they allocated for the line of scrimmage. Yeah. It's the line of scrimmage league. And our DBs have been. Uh, just another potato in a sack of them. So, but yeah. now, if we don't get out of the portal what we need, then we very well may uh, circle back around and, and tell them these guys that, uh, you know, what we do have some NIL money freed up now, and we could, you know, welcome them back. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, so we'll, let's get into the guys who we know we're recruiting um, for the portal to come in. And some of these guys, uh, there's more. There's a lot out there that we don't know about. Let's just go ahead and say that. These are the ones that's been reported uh, kind of openly one way or another. Maybe the deep. They have done a good job keeping it quiet. They do. 
Uh, we didn't really know nothing about Big Julie Lolly until it happened uh, last year. And it was uh, purely, I think, the same way. It was like, hey, here's this guy that just committed. You know, and basically, Castles was about the same way. I mean, well, that was uh, almost surprised him because as soon as they said, would you? And he said, yes, I do. Come on in. Yeah. Uh, but here's some guys we're looking at. Uh, Saeed Gibbs. He's a uh, redshirt freshman from Rhode Island. Uh, Jermon McCoy, a true freshman, I believe, from uh, Oregon. Played quite a bit for Oregon. Oregon State, yeah. Uh, played quite a bit for them. Uh, yeah, started multiple weeks for a true freshman. Uh, Marcus Harris uh, from Idaho. Uh, safety, I believe. And uh, Devin Marshall. Which is from uh, Villanova, also a safety player. Uh, those are the guys we're looking at bringing in that we know of. Right. And I, I've seen some people complain because most of these guys are from small schools. But to me, that's what you're really mining the portal for. It is. Um, there's a lot of guys every year that the NFL is littered with quality guys from small schools because they were late bloomers. Well, now we're not going to see as many going forward because when they're blooming, uh, they're they're not going to NFL. They're going to major Power Five conference teams. Yeah. And then they'll be picked up for sure. Or, well, have a greater chance of getting to the NFL. Yeah. Um, I know, um, I think Jermon McCoy, I've seen some people, I like to say, I've seen some people complain with him simply because he had some uh, poor PFF grade. Um, we're not big believers in PFF grade. I mean, that they're, it's something, but I mean, it's not to be all you know. Absolutely not. The uh, big thing to me, for him, is that he was immediately offered by Washington and Oregon, uh, two teams that played against him, played against him, and pretty good team, and said, we want, we saw enough that we want you on our team. Yeah. So that, you know, it tells me that people up close to him thinks he can play. The, the biggest thing with these guys, in my opinion, is look at their offers. Uh, you know, we don't really matter what school they come from. Look, look at the offers. Because, like you said, Tim, I... Every year in the NFL draft up to this point, like you said, it won't be as much going forward. But in years past, it is a lot of small school guys all over. I mean, you even look at the in the Super Bowl yearly. I will say there's probably ten guys that start in the Super Bowl that come from small schools from uh, Rhode Island and then going over the top places. I mean, just small schools that you never would have thought they'd come from. So yeah, there's talent there. There's guys who just slip to the cracks. But the main thing is, look who they are all getting offered now after some tapes been mm -hmm. out there. And uh, that'll give you a better idea. It, now, we, we, now, you know, I don't jump ahead, but, you know, we get to grab somebody out of the portal. Yeah. Which is a bit of a concern to see. Yeah. I thought we'd have more to do about A tight end in particular. Well, I think we'll move by uh, this weekend. I think we will grab a tight end. Um, one of our targets have already committed elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Sharp. Mm -hmm. uh, sharp. Yeah, I think he went to Oklahoma, I believe. Was it? I believe you're right. Um, but I still believe he's probably third on our target list. I agree. So the two guys who uh, we really like, Holden stays. Uh, likely between us and Georgia. He's from Georgia originally, so that worries me a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Jordan Dingle, uh, kind of like him just with the name. He's a Kentucky transfer. Uh, they hot pings of. I heard of it. Yeah, they did. I just didn't have nobody throwing the ball, apparently. But they did like him. And, uh, you know, stays, like you said, stays from Georgia. If Georgia really wants him, that's going to be hard to get away from. But it will be. Uh, whoever, we do believe somebody will commit here sometime before the end of the weekend there. Yeah, I'd say within the next 72 hours, we'll have a tight end commitment. Um, someone else came back today, Bob. I, I think it's worth mentioning. Uh, Omari Thomas made it official. Yeah, that's big. We, we knew it was going to happen, or we rumors was that it was happening, but until they actually, you know, come out publicly and say so, you just never know. I'll tell you what, now, he's someone that, if you ask me in September, that would shock me. I thought he was going to be like, oh, yeah, that, that, that one that one did surprise me quite bad. So, uh, like you were saying before, offensive and defensive line should be pretty stout. They're really good. So, we've got some uh, young guys that's going to make the job. I mean, I look at Taylor Perry on that defensive line. Uh, Weather speed come back from that PFP injury. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hobbs, yeah. Another year. I can see a big jump out of him. Yeah. I'd be surprised. A year away from him. Then you would see a big jump off Josh Douglas, too. That even the worm could be down in my neck. Could be, yeah. And I, don't be surprised if they don't get a 
you know, stay as strong as I do for the men out of the portal as well. They've, they've got, uh, targeted the, is it the devil? The yeah. Antiques. Is that, is that right? Look, don't make me pronounce most of these names. Yeah, yeah. probably good master of all. That's right. No. <laughs> but we'll, we'll probably get there. Uh, we'll, we'll try to pick these other positions. Could get a linebacker, wouldn't be shocked if we did. Um, wide receiver. Uh, I know we've got a couple offers out. Mm-hmm. Uh, really like to get this uh, two lane kid. Yeah. Is it the. Uh, Brazil? Brazil. Brazil. Yeah. yeah, because if you write, type it in, you've got to be careful. It's, a lot of people take it to another website. But, uh, uh, he was a good looking prospect. Uh, Richard Freshman, I believe. Uh, tall, 6'5. Yeah, I remember him being tall. And he was very, pretty productive. He had a uh, highlight real catch one handed down to one yard line uh, this season. So, yeah, he, he's somebody to get excited about. There's quite a few people after him, I think. We'll try to pick up you know, maybe one here, one there for spot, but we're really yeah. going to be looking at DBs at that point, and we got to get minimum one tight end, and we probably going to try to get in, in a high school guy. I, know we've, uh, I think two tight ends is a minimum. It, it may be one high school and one portal. And I think we got to go to portal, because I, honestly, I just don't think high school guys will be ready for helping you. Yeah, I mean, and, and Ethan Davis is just, I mean, you don't want to get two guys over Davis and concern him about playing time, but... Uh, man, he's injury that. history. Yeah. And, and I have heard that there's some concerns that Davis might not appreciate two guys from the portal coming in, maybe taking his time. But I'll be honest about it. If he's healthy, I don't think there's two guys in the portal that can come in and take his playing time. True. I agree. The guys, there's some people that's saying crazy stuff about it, you know, about how talented he is. So but he's going to, you know, continue to be healthy and block. But as far as the receiver part, uh, I tell you right now, if he's going to be the best guy we've had on the team this year, I don't care who we get out for. Yeah, I agree with that. He's made some highlight hits. Yeah, already just what, you know. But anyway, I think it's really, uh, Bob, that probably up to date right now yeah. as far as what's happening in, in the portal. Uh, we may have another one uh, as early as who knows 12 hours from now because something's going to happen. Yeah, if, yeah, yeah, watch for another video. We could put something out really quick. Yeah. Well, is there anything else you'd like to add, Bob? I think that's it. I like that. Go big orange and go low.